Hello and welcome to the Russian language course. I am Dmitry Slomov and I'll be your teacher through this course. First, let me acknowledge all of you who have decided to start learning Russian. Very well done. You are really courageous. Well, let's start. When you meet a person, first of all you would want to greet him or her, wouldn't you? In English you would probably say hello. In Russian we are doing it too. And for hello we say привет. Привет. Let's hear it some more times. Привет. 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 The response to this greeting is привет. Now, after a greeting, you may want to ask a person how are you? In Russian you are actually asking how are affairs, namely how are daily affairs running? How? Как? Как? Affairs? Дела. Дела. Как дела? Как дела? The response will be thanks, fine. Thanks, спасибо. Спасибо. Like uh, maybe spacey bow. Спасибо. Fine, хорошо, хорошо, like maybe a fine hour show, хорошо, спасибо, хорошо, спасибо, хорошо, как дела, спасибо, хорошо, very well done. Now, if approached by a Russian friend with the question, как дела, you respond him, спасибо, хорошо, and now it's your turn to ask, and how are you? In Russian, you ask, how are your affairs? How are yours, actually? Remember, how, как. How are yours goes, как у тебя. Как у тебя. In the word тебя, you encounter the truly Russian sound, я. It is often transcribed as ya, but it is not exactly that. It's better if you just... Pronounce it as A, but while pronouncing A, you keep the middle of your tongue higher than usual. A, ya. A, ya. Give it a try. Generally, Russians speak with their tongue much higher, much closer to the palates than English speakers. This is how Russian accent occurs. While pronouncing Russian words, you may definitely try to keep your tongue higher than usual. You may notice that now you would sound even more Russian. One more pronunciation issue is the T sound. In Russian it is less explosive and clicking than it is in English. And it is even easier to learn. You just set the tip of your tongue like you want to pronounce the TH sound. Th. But you have to press the tip of your tongue to the upper teeth and palates, so the air does not get out. This is Russian T. Try Th, T, Th, Th. It is also easier to pronounce this sound correctly when you keep your tongue a little bit higher. Fine, very good. Хорошо. So, after your Russian friend asks you, как дела? And you reply, спасибо, хорошо. Как у тебя? You may also hear a more reserved reply. Not that fine, thanks, but something like everything goes normally. Everything все. Все. Normally нормально. Нормально. Все нормально. Все нормально. Как дела? Спасибо. Все нормально. Как у тебя? Хорошо. In the word все, everything, все, you encounter one of those odd Russian sounds. It is written as Y-O. However, it is not yo, but rather some kind of O with the middle and the back of your tongue slightly up. It may remind the English word were, but the tip of your tongue might be down. Try. Were. Yeah. Were. 
pure. Russians are generally more reserved in public than Westerners. They will rarely respond on their daily affairs in some passionate way. At first, they will be coolly polite with you. That's okay. For them you are a foreigner. They do not know how to treat you. But when you become closer, maybe at a common meal at home of one of your Russian friends, after some vodkas, then you may discover really strong passions. Please keep it in mind. Now, so far you have had your first conversation with your Russian friends. It is time to say goodbye. In Russian you say пока. Once more. Пока. Пока. And the response is пока. Very good. So, let's summarize. Imagine John is walking down the street and he meets his Russian friend Peter. In Russian, Петя. This will be a dialogue between them. Привет, Петя. Привет, Джон. Как дела, Петя? Все нормально, Джон. Как у тебя? Все хорошо. Спасибо. Пока, Джон. Пока, Петя. Now, listen to this dialogue spoken in a fast manner. Most probably, this will be the speed at which you will hear your Russian friends speaking. If you find it too difficult, you better listen to the slower version of this dialogue and then start with the faster. You may listen to this dialogue a few times until you recognize each word in it. Привет, Петя. Привет, Джон. Как дела, Петя? Все нормально, Джон. Как у тебя? Все хорошо, спасибо. Пока, Джон. Пока, Петя. Good job. Very good job. Very well done. Now, that's enough for this time. Thank you for staying with me through this lesson. And I'll be glad to meet you in the next one. Пока!